Okay, let's look at some other ways you can say an acid is a strong acid or a weak acid. Remember that we must never mix up strength of acid and concentration of acid. Strength always relies just on ionization. Okay, so we actually measure the strength of an acid using pH. Okay, so pH depends on the concentration of the hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions in the solution. So if you have a look with a strong acid that's concentrated. If you have a look here, HA, 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 these little HAs, okay, are the undissociated acid. And over here, a proton, an anion, a proton, an anion, these are the dissociated acids. So in a strong acid, it's nearly all protons and very few uh, undissociated acid molecules. But in a weak acid, Basically everything, look here, HA, 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 ooh, lonely proton, lonely proton, lonely proton. So in a weak acid, there's hardly any little lonely pr protons, nearly everything is not dissociated. And even if we chuck more water in here, we're still going to have, in a strong acid, very few um, things that have not dissociated, but in a weak acid nearly everything's not dissociated. So in this one the equilibrium goes forward to make protons and in the weak acid all the protons are like, no dude, I want to go back to being this covalent molecule, this is far more fun, I don't want to be a proton. Okay, so, but when we concentrated there's a lot of particles in a small space and when we diluted there's very few particles. Okay, so if you looked at the concentration of protons per this unit space, there's not that many, but they all, compared to the acid, there's a lot of them, okay, compared to the undissociated acid. So the pH of the acid depends on the concentration of the protons and the hydroxide ions in, in the solution. And so a low pH, remember acids have a low pH below 7, they have a very high concentration of hydronium ions. So the higher the concentration of hydronium ions, the lower the pH of the solution. And strong acids will ionize almost completely and give you a lot of hydronium ions and have a very low pH, whereas weak acids ionize very little and have a uh, low hydronium ion concentration and a high pH. We're going to get into how to calculate pH based on hydronium ion concentration at some point. The next way to tell if um, an acid is a strong acid or a weak acid is by um, conductivity. So if you run an electrolysis experiment with where you've got a, a battery and electrodes and they're in an electrolyte solution, you can consider an acid dissolved in water, an aqueous solution of an acid, to be an electrolyte because it is, because there's ions. Some of them are uh, uh, hydrogen cations and whatever else is your anion, okay? So conductivity depends on how many ions you've got in solution. And acids, which ionize completely, have a very high proton ion concentration. So strong acids will easily conduct electricity because there's lots of ions to move and complete the circuit. Remember, the ions move to complete the circuit. However, if you're a weak acid, you don't ionize. And then, like, when you try and electrolyze something, ah, nothing happens, okay? Because there are no ions to move from the cathode to the anode. Or wherever. So weak acids are weak electrical conductors. So conductivity is also a, mesh, a measure of acid strength by how many ions you have in solution. And then the last one that we think we're going to look at is reaction rate. Okay, so if you have an acid plus a metal gives you salt and water, remember an acid plus a metal gives you salt and water. If the acid reacts with a metal that's a stronger reducing agent than hydrogen, they will give you a salt and, did I write water here? Oh, this is supposed to be hydrogen gas, that's a calamity. This is not water, this is hydrogen gas, okay? So the rate at which the acid reacts with a metal to produce hydrogen gas is a measure of the strength of the acid. So a strong acid will have a high reaction rate, the hydrogen gas will be bubbling off there like really, really rapidly. But if, so say for instance I chuck zinc metal in hydrochloric acid, I'm going to rapidly produce bubbles of hydrogen gas. But if I chuck that same zinc metal into some vinegar, 
there will be a low reaction rate and very little um, hydrogen gas will bubble off because the weak acid has got hardly any protons in solution which react to form the hydrogen gas. And that's the end of that. This is supposed to say an acid plus a metal gives you a salt and hydrogen gas. I will fix that immediately.